subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you, dear Prime Minister, dear Fumio. It's a pleasure to meet you and your team for our 28th Japan EU summit. Thank you for your warm welcome to Tokyo. Today, we discussed the deepening strategic and economic partnership between the European Union and Japan. We addressed our bilateral relations and important regional and global challenges and how best to coordinate our responses. The EU and Japan are truly like-minded partners. Together, we represent a quarter of global GDP. We have a deep and dynamic relationship united by the fundamental values of democracy and rule of law. Japan is our closest strategic partner in the Indo-Pacific region. And Russia's war against Ukraine has shown that deeper cooperation is not a luxury. It's a vital necessity. Today's summit is an opportunity to build on this momentum and to maximize the full potential of our partnership across a wide range of issues. And this summit takes place as Russia continues to savagely attack the people of Ukraine. We've responded in close coordination to condemn Russia and to impose punishing sanctions. I'd like to thank you dear Prime Minister and Japan, for your solidarity. Together, we are providing significant humanitarian, financial and military support to Ukraine and its people. We also discussed our cooperation to prevent the circumvention of sanctions and to combat disinformation. And we are convinced those responsible for war crimes must be and will be brought to justice. We also discussed the global impact of the war on energy and food security. Our cooperation in Ukraine is critical in Europe, but it's also important in the Indo-Pacific. And we also want to deepen our consultation on a more assertive China. We believe that China must stand up to defend the multilateral system that it has benefited from in developing its country. This summit also shows our leadership in upholding multilateralism, including through reforms of multilateral bodies, such as the UN, the WTO, and the WHO. We also discussed ways to boost our cooperation in security and defense. Japan is the only Asian partner specifically mentioned in the strategic compass, our roadmap for bolstering our common European security and defense, and we've already have successful joint naval exercises in the Gulf of Aden and the Arabian Sea. We want to pursue this further. In the digital domain, the launch of our digital partnership today is a milestone. In fact, it's our first digital partnership with any country. It will help us achieve our shared goals in many key areas. We are extremely pleased on the innovation and research front. Japan has expressed its interest in being associated with our Horizon Europe program. EU and Japanese students and scholars will benefit from this greater cooperation. Sharing knowledge, know-how, expertise highlights our excellent like-minded cooperation. We are also bending together to protect our planet and speed up the transition to climate neutrality. Last year, we launched our ambitious EU-Japan Green Alliance, and now we are focused on implementing it. We also discussed concrete ways to get the most out of our connectivity partnership in energy, digital, transport, and people-to-people -people connections. The EU and Japan have a powerful trade relationship. The EU and Japan, this economic partnership is one of the EU's key trade deals, and now we want to maximize the untapped potential of this agreement, from animal health and food security to energy cooperation or geographical indications. Dear Prime Minister Di Fumio, tomorrow I will be in Hiroshima, Prime Minister Kidishida's town. In these challenging times, symbols matter, and we will pay tribute to the victims of the atomic bomb. The Prime Minister has long been a strong voice 
for a nuclear free world, and I want to clearly reaffirm that our actions in times of conflict must forever be guided by the tragic history of Hiroshima. In light of the war in Ukraine, this will be an important moment to send a powerful message of peace and of hope. I thank you.